She was married and crowned at Westminster Abbey, then, on Monday, Queen Elizabeth II was farewelled there by a nation in mourning. It was a historic day seeped in pomp and tradition where huge swathes of the UK came to a standstill. Watch the video above, key moments from the Queen's funeral. Catch all of your favorite shows on Channel 7 or stream free on 7 Plus. Just 2,000 people attended the state funeral at Westminster Abbey, but thousands more lined the streets, throwing flowers and cheering as the hearse carried the Queen's coffin to her final resting place. And in a poignant end, her imperial state crown, orb and scepter were removed from the top of her coffin, a symbol of her power transferring to her successor. But there were also emotional reminders that the Queen was more than the head of state in our longest-serving monarch, she was a beloved mother, grandmother and great-grandmother. Her great-grandson appeared to wipe away a tear during the service at Westminster Abbey, and her son, King Charles III, seemed emotional as he farewelled the Queen. A card from the King was placed on top of the Queen's coffin, alongside the flowers, and read, in loving and devoted memory. Charles are after a funeral that captured the world's attention, she's now been laid to rest with her husband of more than 70 years, the late Prince Philip. Here are the eight moments you may have missed out the royal family comes together as the Queen's coffin entered Westminster Abbey, key members of the royal family walked behind it. It was a day that saw the family come together. At one point Catherine, Princess of Wales, George, and Charlotte were pictured standing, united in grief, next to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry and William were also seen marching behind the Queen's coffin, paying respects to their late grandmother. Sandra O oh spotted at the Queen's funeral just 2,000 people were invited to the state funeral at Westminster Abbey, and one of them was Hollywood actress Sandra O. Oh. The Canadian-born actress was appointed to the Order of Canada, one of the highest honors available to a civilian in the Commonwealth country. In June of this year, she became an officer of the Order of Canada by the Governor-General of Canada, Mary Simon for her extraordinary contributions to the nation. The Grey's Anatomy actress was then named as part of the official Canadian delegation by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau last week, granting her the honor to attend the service along with other recipients. Others chosen included former Olympian Mark Tewksbury, musician Gregory Charles and Cross of Valor recipient Leslie Arthur Palmer. O was recognized for her artistic career filled with memorable stage, television and film roles in Canada and abroad, according to the Governor-General's office. Princess Charlotte's tears as she farewells great-grandmother It's the picture that broke the world's heart, and showed just how much Queen Elizabeth meant to her great-granddaughter. Seven-year-old Princess Charlotte, the daughter of William and Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales, was pictured sobbing as she watched the Queen's coffin being transferred from a gun carriage to the hearse at Wellington Arch after the funeral service at Westminster Abbey. Mum Kate was pictured comforting the little girl as the tears flowed. Flowers thrown as the public farewells the Queen after the state funeral at Westminster Abbey, the Queen's coffin was transported first to the Wellington Arch, and then onto Windsor Castle. During almost the whole journey, well-wishers lined the streets, bidding her a final farewell. Some cheered as the state hearse drove past. Others threw flowers, and when the state hearse arrived at Windsor, there were still flowers littered over the hood of the car. The Queen's corkies say goodbye to their mum just before the committal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor began, eagle-eyed viewers spotted some unusual guests. They were the Queen's last two corkies, waiting to also farewell their mum. The Queen was an avid lover of corgis, and was regularly photographed with them. Her last two surviving corgis will now live with the Duke and Duchess of York, Andrew, and Sarah, a source close to the Duke of York told CNN last week. A sweet moment between Prince Harry and his niece as Prince Harry and his niece Princess Charlotte sat together during the Queen's committal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, they appeared to have a sweet moment. As Her Majesty's coffin was about to be lowered into the royal vault, the Dean of Windsor gave a bidding. As he spoke, Princess Charlotte appeared to be adjusting her hat before glancing up at her uncle, Prince Harry, and catching his eye. Harry appeared to briefly smile at his niece in a sweet public moment between the family members. The Queen's instruments of state removed from the coffin all day Monday, the Queen's instruments of state sat on top of the coffin, until an incredibly symbolic moment during the committal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor.
The crown jeweler removed the orb, scepter and crown from her coffin, all symbols of her power, which were then placed on the altar by the Dean of Windsor. The moment was a reminder that the death of a monarch also heralds in a new reign, and the power of a monarch passing to their successor. The final moment the Queen's coffin was lowered into a royal vault in a day of emotional scenes, one of the most powerful was during the committal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. As the Dean of Windsor read a psalm, her coffin was slowly lowered into the royal vault, the last time her coffin was seen by the public. With Georgie Carney, Pip Christmas, Catherine Davison, and Amy Sinclair. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.